SOS family. How is the physique looking? How is the physique looking? They're pretty nice if you ask me. The gains are coming back. Anyway, for those of you guys who watched my Calisthenics Life Episode 2 video, you guys will remember that I promised I was going to make an in-depth video on the back workout that I did to increase the number of pull-ups that I'm able to do at once, to increase my pull-up endurance. Now, I will say I'm pretty intermediate when it comes to pull-ups. I think at one time I was able to do about 20 pull-ups, but obviously I cannot do that anymore. Well, I probably could do 20 pull-ups if I tried now. Uh, but again, I will say I'm pretty intermediate because I do between 10 to 20 pull-ups. Whereas like somebody who's advanced will do like what, above 20 pull-ups and somebody who's a beginner will do below 10 pull-ups. So the way that I'm gonna show you in this video will be for the intermediate people, for you beginners. I will also post that workout plan in the description for you guys to copy, write down, screenshot, whatever, so you guys can also follow it. But it's going to be the same concept, just less reps. Pretty much what I do is like a pair, it's, it's kind of like a pyramid style workout. I start off with doing 10 reps and I gradually, every set, I decrease the reps by two and then I go back up by two, which totals up to about 60 pull-ups. Not about 60 pull-ups, it, it totals up to 60 pull-ups, right? So I start off at 10 and I rest for two minutes, I go to eight reps, rest for two minutes, I go to six reps, rest for two minutes, I go to four reps, I rest for one minute, then I go to two reps, I rest for 30 seconds, I do two reps again, I rest for 30 seconds, I go up to four reps, rest for one minute, then I go back to six, eight, and 10, and I rest for two minutes for each of those sets. So for six, eight, and 10 reps, I rest for two minutes. For you beginners, you're gonna start off at five and go down to four, three, two, one, then go back up to one, two, three, four, five. Right, and at five reps, you're gonna rest for two minutes. At four and three reps, you're going to rest for one minute, and for two and one rep, <laughs> you're gonna rest for 30 seconds after you do those. Again, if you don't understand, I will write down in the description. Now, this this back workout is pretty tough. I can't lie, I struggle with it at the end, which is good. You want to be struggling during your workouts. Like it shouldn't be impossible, but it should it should be challenging. Okay, and. It's not challenging to the point where it's the only part of your back workout that you can do. Like I actually do this before I do the rest of my back workout. Like I pretty much start off my back workouts with this. Now for me personally, I really only do this workout just to build the endurance in my pull-ups. I am not going to be doing this forever or for like a really long time. I'm actually only doing this workout for probably one more week because come July, I'm really only going to be practicing on my calisthenic skills and I'm pretty much just trying to build up my endurance in all of my basic exercises so I could really focus on doing my handstand push-ups, I could do my flags, I could do my muscle-ups, I could do my one-arm push-ups or my explosive push-ups. I'm just trying to build the endurance so that I'm able to train for like an entire hour of just training my calisthenics calisthenic skills. Now for those of you guys who want to tailor the workout, I guess specifically to you, you want to start off at 12 or 14 reps and go down to two, go ahead, do what you feel suits you best. The reason why I like doing these type of workouts is because it helps me put my mind on the actual goal rather than my workout feeling like a task. Doing three sets of 10, like the basic way, a lot of times it just feels like a task and it just doesn't motivate me to push harder. So when I do something like this, this pyramid style workout, I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to make it all the way down the, pyra the pyramid and make it back up. And if I make it back up, like I want to see if I can push myself even further. Or when I do the one minute push-up challenge, like I could do a lot of push-ups, but when I give myself that pressure of doing as many as I can in one minute, I'm like, okay, I want to make sure I get these, like, get all of these reps in as much as possible, right? So it's, it's like a mental game. And honestly, this is why I think when you're trying to build endurance, these are the best type of ways to go about it, in my opinion, in my opinion. I'm not saying it is the best, but it's one of the best ways that I would recommend to anybody else who's trying to build endurance in their push-ups, in their pull-ups, or in anything else. Like, give your, like, create a challenge for yourself so you can push yourself like as much as you possibly can you know if you're just like it's just like if you're going for a jog if you're going for a jog give yourself a, a goal like i want to make sure i i run this block under five minutes 
and you will push yourself harder next time. If you're just going for a jog with no goal, you're not gonna push yourself as hard as you can, if that makes any sense. Anyway, my ninjas, I hope this video helped you guys. Again, go down in the description and copy right down, screenshot the workout so you can follow it. If you're a beginner, again, follow the five rep uh, sets. And if you're into me like me, follow the 10 rep sets. I'm telling you, you will see results if you push yourself. Keep tracking your progress. The first time, you're like, okay, I only, I only went down the pyramid. Next time, I'm going to go back up the pyramid. Then the next time, I'm going to even surpass the pyramid or even do the pyramid twice. You set your goals for yourself. I'm telling you, you will see results pretty fast. Like, give yourself a month doing these type of workouts, and I promise you, you will be making gains. Anyway, I will talk to y'all next time. I am out of here. Stay blessed.